I have been looking forward to shooting these videos like all week because I have boxes upon boxes that I need to unbox and I can't do that without recording the unboxing. So finally, I'm getting to sit down today and do some more unboxings for you. Sailor Senshi, I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and reviews. And today I have a whole lot of items to show you and review. These are all from North American companies, including Box Lunch, Hot Topic, and then a few other random ones like Society6 is in there and we'll see what else I get into. I am super excited to break into all of this stuff that I have sitting next to me. Now, as usual, with anything that is still available online, I will put the links down below as well as the prices so that you can find these items yourself. Now, I will do my best to sort these by store, but there might be things uh, in different boxes. So I'm just gonna try my best and I will go ahead and start with the clothing items that I have purchased. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the shirts that I have next to me. This first one I am wearing. This is the Sailor Moon shirt right here. Uh, there's actually five of them for each of the five inner senshi. They are available over on Box Lunch, I want to say. Uh, they are currently available too, so you can go purchase them for yourselves. I only purchased two of them. I am debating going back and buying all five of the different ones, and I would love it if Box Lunch came out with the Outer Scouts as well. Uh, these shirts are really nice, soft material. They are made made out of 100% cotton, so keep that in mind when you wash them because they will shrink a little bit. Uh, that's fine with me. I ordered a medium and I know they will shrink a little bit, which is wonderful because I want them to fit a little better. They are unisex shirts, which means they aren't going to fit you great if you're female, unfortunately, but I really like the designs on the front of them. Sailor Mars looks awesome. It's really, really good art as well as Sailor Moon. She looks beautiful as well, and each of the different shirts comes in the Senshi color too. So these are good shirts, insanely cheap if you have one of Box Lunch's coupons, which they come out with coupons all the time, so you can definitely get those for a great deal. Another shirt I got from Box Lunch is this super cute sweater, which says Sailor Moon on it, and it has Sailor Moon on it, obviously. It's in pink. Uh, this shirt does pill a little bit, let those little fabric balls that you'll sometimes get on shirts. So make sure you have like a fabric shaver. You can get those off Amazon. I just got one and it's like, the thing that has saved my life and saved me so much time and made all of my items look brand new again. So get yourself a fabric shaver. They're amazing. I'll put one in the links down below, but you can tell my cat has like laid on this cause there's cat hair all over it. Uh, but this is a great shirt if you're really into like the 90s type of art. This is a very 90s style sweater and it's super, super warm because the inside is very, very comfy and thick. Uh, this is also made out of 100% cotton as well and they recommend, just like the t-shirts, washing this in cold water. I don't remember if I already showed you all this. I'm pretty sure I didn't, but this is a really cute jean jacket that's from Box Lunch. It's a little bit more expensive, but it also has some awesome embroidery all around. I've gotten tons of compliments whenever I wear this. It is a little bit oversized too, so like I got a medium and it's slightly baggy, but I kind of I kind of like it actually. I like that it's not too like overbearing, especially in the shoulders. But you'll see that it has these senshi symbols on one side down the arm, which is really cool. The other arm doesn't have any embroidery. Luna and Artemis are on the front, and then on the back we have some Japanese writing and it has Sailor Moon's silhouette. Sorry for all the noise while I move this thing around but I really like the back of this shirt. I love that it has Japanese at the top and it says skinny kawa te oshiokiyo. So yeah, it says what Sailor Moon says at every time she transforms. So that's super cute. I really like it. So that's it for box lunches clothes. Now I will move on to, let's do Hot Topic next. Now, to be honest, I was not very impressed with Hot Topic's newest season or newest line of Sailor Moon products. This is the only thing that I kept and I purchased almost every single item in their newest Sailor Moon line. So that tells you something about the quality. I was just not impressed with the quality of most of the products. You can see my reviews of the items I returned over on my Instagram. It's Sailor Snubs, just like the spelling on this website. So if you're on Instagram, definitely follow me over there. 
Sailor Snubs to see pictures and stuff like that. Uh, but this is the Sailor Jupiter. It's kind of like a jacket with a lace up top. It's kind of like a jersey jacket almost or like a sporty jacket, but it has the four symbol on the front, the Sailor Jupiter symbol. And then on the back, and this is why I really like it, you have her transformation pen. It's so pretty. It's a very, very cool art. Uh, you will notice it's made out of this like, I don't know what kind of what kind of fabric product this is, but it's that it kind of gaps up a little bit. Like you will, you will notice on the four, it's kind of like shrunk up a little bit and kind of squished itself. So I'm thinking maybe I can iron it out. I don't know what will happen if I do that. I might try to do that just to kind of straighten it out because the art does kind of like scrunch up whenever you wash it. Uh, but it's very cute. This one does pill as well. So make sure you have that fabric shaver. Okay, so the next line we have is Torrid. And I gotta say, I think Torrid's newest line was absolutely gorgeous and um, they are plus size so unfortunately a lot of the items wouldn't fit me but I was able to get a few items in size zero zero but these did fit me a little bit they they are a little bit oversized a little bit baggy on me but these still look so good like Torrid's clothing is so quality I was very very impressed so I got, I got this jacket first off. Uh, it is made out of, what is this, like polyester or something? Hey, I was right. So it's 100% nylon and the lining is polyester. Haha, -ha, I was right. So polyester and nylon is what this is made out of. The back of this jacket has a really cool uh, embroidery Sailor Moon with her moon stick and the moon stick does have three gems in there. And okay, this is what sold me. Look at the lining of this jacket. Now I haven't worn it yet. I've been waiting to do this unboxing so that I can actually get it out and start wearing it. But the lining is so pretty. It has all the different Sailor Scout symbols. It has a Luna silhouette. It has the Moonstick silhouette. So, and then it's got this galaxy in the background. It's just so cool. Uh, you also have the Senshi symbols along the shoulders and you have Luna embroidered on the shoulder as well. Another thing you'll notice is that you have the little fuku bow down at the bottom. So lots of really cute details all over. And yes, there are pockets on this jacket as well. Can't wait to wear this because it's still a little bit cool here in the San Francisco Bay Area. So this will be perfect for the springtime. This one I have gotten a chance to wear already. It is also from Torrid. This is a size zero zero. This is a Luna cardigan. It also has pockets, which is wonderful. Uh, it is so warm. This is wonderful for winter time. I really like the design. I love the colors, the pink and purple, since those are my favorite colors. And then it's got this nice gray. It definitely has like a, uh, I forget what you call this design, but you see it on a lot of sweaters. Um, but it, it kind of goes along with that same kind of like trendy vibe that you see on a lot of sweaters. It's very, very cute. I love it. And then down at the bottom, you have a full silhouette of Luna and is, oh, I just love it. It's so adorable. So soft too. It's extremely soft. It is made out of acrylic. Huh, interesting. Lastly from Torrid is this really pretty kimono. Now it is just blue from top to bottom, except for the bottom, you get this nice ombre art of the Sailor Senshi symbols. You also have the Let's see, the transformation pen is down here. You have Tuxedo Masks Rose and a whole bunch of little rose petals and a bunch of bubbles. So it kind of looks like it's in the ocean with a bunch of bubbles coming up, but it's really, really pretty. It is transparent, so you can see through it. So this would be very cute as a layering piece. Um, I think it's adorable. I haven't gotten a chance to wear it yet because I've been traveling so much and this isn't something that I really want to get wrinkled. So I have just kept this in my closet, but I can't wait to wear it. It's also very, very soft too. And this is made out of polyester. Torrid's got the cute pieces. All of their stuff is adorable. Okay, so on to some other quick hits that I have purchased from different websites. I believe both of these are from Box Lunch. First, we have this wonderful backpack, which has kind of lost its shape. I need to reshape it because I did take this with me on a two week trip to New Zealand recently. But on the front, we have awesome embroidery of pretty roses. And at the top, we have Sailor Moon with the crescent moon behind her. Uh, this is made by Loungefly too. So it is fake leather, but it's a very good quality. I like the size of this backpack. It was able to fit my A7R2, my Sony camera, and I was able to carry it around with me 
every single day while I was like backpacking around New Zealand. So it was perfect for that. It also has really nice quality heavy duty straps too. Um, I did get it kind of dirty. Hopefully that stuff will come off. And I noticed on the front, there are a few loose threads. So that's something I'm going to have to take care of. Uh, but that is, that is something that you might want to watch out for. Uh, obviously it's not as high quality as like the Samantha Vega purses, but it's also cost like I don't know, one third of the price of those. So I believe I got this for around like $40 or something. I'm not sure if it's still available. If it is, I'll put it down in the show notes. Ooh, that could have been bad. Uh, this is a, well, it says ceramic drink set, but I'm gonna call it a sake set because it looks like a sake set. This is a five piece ceramic drink set from Box Lunch. It's Sailor Moon Crystal themed very very cute i haven't unboxed this yet i've just ripped it open so let's go ahead and take a look take a look see see what it looks like oh good they're not broken that's always a plus okay so i'll show you some close-ups of these but they they almost feel like pottery it says hand wash only do not soak do not microwave good to know and on the bottom we have toei animation which tells you that this is a licensed product on the front it looks like uh it's like a printed paint on the front of it and obviously that would probably come off does have a lot of the styrofoam from the packaging on it so I'm definitely gonna have to hand wash these before I use them but so cute I really like the color I like that the colors are kind of muted with this drink set so it's not like super super pink uh, which I think that my husband would approve of since I'm definitely putting these downstairs can't wait to use these with some of my girlfriends we'll just have like I don't drink sake so maybe I'll put wine in this and use it as like a decanter is that weird I know that's weird, but I will totally do that. Maybe I should put white wine in this because I don't want it to stain. Now, if you're wondering, the inside of the cups is also painted the same color as the outside, so you won't have to worry about like a non-painted interior on these since they are ceramic. Now, if you're tuning into this um, soon after I posted it, there is some new drinkware available on Box Lunch's website as well, which I do intend to receive too, and I will be reviewing those as well. Okay, so this next item is not Sailor Moon, but it is really freaking cool. So this is a 3D printed moon that my friend gave me for, I think it was like a late Christmas present or something, I don't remember, but it illuminates, it glows. So I fully intend to either put this on my computer desk or put it back here somewhere and just leave it on like this because it's so pretty. I thought it was awesome. Um, I believe you can find these over on Amazon and they do come with a cute little wooden stand so you can set it up. But I love that it has all the intricate details of all the creators of the moon and stuff like that. It's just, it's really cool. And I love using 3D printers because I'm a super nerd. I have my own 3D printer, so I can highly appreciate that this thing is so nicely and well made. Okay, so I have some other items in here. I got this locally. This is a petite chata set set from Mega House. Uh, this is called the, I think it's like the ice cream part. Yeah, Petite Chara Land Sailor Moon ice cream party set with the outer senshi. So this features uh, Michiru or Neptune, Uranus, uh, Pluto, Saturn, Chibi Moon, and Sailor Moon. And luckily I did just get some awesome cases for Petite Chara's, which I will also tell you about uh, down below in the show notes. So I'll be able to put these all in there and then eventually display them all. Cause you'll notice I took a bunch of them off back here cause I've been putting them all in a display set. Uh, so I'm super excited to open these. They are so cute. Got them from a local comic book store, I believe is where I got them from. So I got a good price on them too. Some Blu-rays that I recently got in the mail. Um, Viz Media actually sent me a couple of these. They sent me Sailor Moon Super S the movie as well as Sailor Moon Super S, is this part two? Yes, part two to review. And then um, since I already bought these, I'm probably gonna do a giveaway of these too. The reason why Viz Media sent me these is because I'm on their PR list uh, for some of the other work that I do. Uh, so I'm very excited to be able to give these extras away. I can't wait for that. So I will announce those in a future video. Uh, keep an eye out for those and make sure to subscribe so that you hear about the announcement so you can possibly get into one in one of these. And of course I did buy Sailor Moon Super S the movie for myself as well and I will be reviewing that in an upcoming video. Okay so this little girl I have not opened yet and 
uh, I'm excited because it's still available, surprisingly, for like the same price that it came out at. This is the Figure Arts Zero Choet Chibi Yusa and Helios, which I got Serenity behind me somewhere. So this was the only Choet that I was missing. So I finally decided to go ahead and opt to purchase it. Uh, this is a legitimate one. It has the it has the little Toei sticker on it and is it yeah it is the international one because it has the choking hazard on the front so since this has been out for a long time i'm not going to do a full review of it but i will open it up and let you know what it looks like in person because she is very cute there's a big piece of cardstock in here on the back of it it says figure out zero choa and then it has a picture of the figure out zero figure uh, with Chibi Yusa and Helios. And then on the front, we have some gold foil that says Figure Art Zero Choet, and it says heartwarming scenes designed just for you. Figure Art Zero Choet is a splendid treasure for your room. How cute. We also have the directions written down. These are in Japanese. No English directions are included. Ooh, so pretty. Why did I wait so long to buy this? Oh my God. It's so pretty. Okay, so little known fact about me, I used to collect unicorns and Pegasus figures. I had so many in my room when I was a kid. So this is like the only one I have now. And it's so pretty. Oh my God. Uh. Okay, so I did the best I could with this figure because her peg isn't really fitting on her foot that well, but here's Chibiusa and Helios, the figure it's zero shot. So I just kind of have her like standing on there because she has a little stand underneath her legs, but it's a really pretty figure. I'm pretty happy with it, other than the annoyance that is trying to get Chibiusa to, to stand up. Oh yes, Chibiusa, always annoying, always the annoying one. But yes, very pretty, really like it would buy again. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to Society6. So these are a few items that I got from a friend who purchased them off Society6 for me as a gift. Uh, so I guess the first thing I'll show you is this. This is a bath mat or a kitchen mat, whatever you want it to be. Uh, but it's memory foam on the inside, which is awesome. And it's got beautiful art on the front. This looks so cool. I'm really excited to use this. I don't know which artist this is. Um, it might be like Mark Al I Albiero. I think that's his name. He does a lot of like licensed art, but oh my gosh, it's memory foam. I love it with Sailor Moon on a bath mat. Like this is everything I ever wanted. So really excited about being able to use this. We'll probably put this in like a Sailor Moon bathroom and then start a theme or something. I don't know. I also got this awesome art print from the same lady that did the throw that I showed you from my birthday roundup. So this is really, really pretty art. Can't wait to show this off. I'll probably frame it or like set it on one of these back shelves. I also got a couple of stickers too from the same artist. So I really like the Usagi stick sticker specifically, but this one with like a witchy black lady is also very cool. And lastly from Society6 is this super cute acrylic board that I can set things on top of. So I'll definitely use this back here and I need to reorganize so it'll show up back there somewhere. Uh, but it's nice and big, it's nice and thick too so it doesn't feel like this acrylic is going to break. And the printing on the back of it, uh, it looks like it was printed off of like a regular printer. Like you can see some of the die spots, uh, like, like a home printer almost and it's made by Ricardo Bacci is the artist on this one. He has a little signature right there. So very, very cute. I love this acrylic stand. I can't wait to use it for displaying some of my items. Okay, so lastly, I have a whole slew of Sailor Moon pins that you can currently purchase from a bunch of different sellers. I love these fan art pins. They are beautiful and a lot of these sellers do a great job. So I'll just go through each of the artists. So firstly, we have Nyktia, Nyktia. I don't know how to say that properly, but I'll show you some close-ups, uh, who did a whole bunch of awesome silhouette pins with crescent moons around them. So I have Human Luna, I have Queen Serenity, I have 
uh, Black Lady, I have Sailor Cosmos, and of course Usagi or Sailor Moon. Uh, she also made these super cute Hocus Pocus pins too, and I was like, I have to get those. Even though they're not Sailor Moon, they're adorable. These next ones are from Third Eye Magic Supply, and these aren't silhouettes, but they are all very gorgeous pins made by this awesome seller. They use this great like chrome rainbow texture for these. So I just ended up, they had every single Sailor Scout, which I definitely considered getting all of them, but I was like, uh, I can't afford that. I better not. So I ended up getting uh, Sailor Moon, King and Demian. I got Chibi Moon, and then I got the human forms of Luna, Artemis, and Diana. I also got a slew of stickers from the same artist, and these stickers correlate with the same design as the pin, so I'll show you those in a close-up too. These two pins are from Girls Union on Twitter. Uh, they usually take licensed art and stick it on pins, like this is art from the 90s, and this one I don't recognize, but I could probably find it online somewhere. Uh, but both of these pins are adorable, and I would love to see the angel pin, for example, done in every single Sailor Senshi because that would be really really cute. Cosmic Skies pins are the next ones that I got. Uh, you can also find this seller on Instagram as well. She made some really cute pins of Usagi and Minako both with Artemis and Luna and they it looks like they're sleeping in their PJs. It's so cute. And then I also got a chibi black lady as well. EJ pins made this adorable sleeping Usagi on a rose gold metal and this one it looks like Usagi Usagi is sleeping on her own bedspread in her own home, so it's very cute. And I just love the rose gold. It made this pin look like so cute and super modern. So really like this pin as well. This amazing huge pin is made by, um, his name is Ryan. I'll find his Instagram link because he sells strictly on Instagram, but he had a slew of these pins. I was lucky enough to grab one. And this is like a collector's piece. It's just so beautiful. It's Usagi transforming into Sailor Moon. She has the ribbon streaming out behind her and it's just so beautiful big and like colorful and it's so intricate and I just I just loved it. I was just like this pin is amazing. Absolutely one of my favorites. This last group of pins is by Sugar Cubed Studios and these are all gorgeous side silhouettes of all of the Sailor Senshi as well as the human forms of the cats. And we have, in case we're not done, Sailor Cosmos, Princess Kekyu, and Mistress Nine. So there's a whole slew of these that you can get. I ended up getting, it looks like, the royals, the human forms, and then the um, extra ones like, oh, I also got Chibi Chibi in here. And then I got Cosmos, Princess Kaku, and um, Mistress Nine. She also sent over Helios too. So there's a silhouette version of Helios. These are just beautiful. They look like stained glass. Um, she did have an option where you could get them with stained glass. I decided to go with the hollow versions so you could kind of see through the faces, which I think is so cute and so cool and so different. So really liked the design on these and I ended up purchasing the stickers to go along with them too. And lastly is from Bishujo Potato and these are just three cute doujinshi coasters. So all of these are happy Halloween coasters that I got from her quite a while back. It's just time that I finally actually opened them but they all feature different Sailor Senshi and yeah they're just cute little fabric coasters. So I was like ah oh, adorable. I love coasters. I love collecting coasters. That's weird but it's a thing that I do. Okay I think that's every Everything from this North American haul. There was a bunch of stuff, so I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you love checking out all of these products as much as I do. And of course, if you have any questions about any of these items, just comment below and ask me. I reply as much as I can. I'm super engaged with everybody that watches, and I really appreciate that you're commenting so much. So thank you for watching these videos and sticking around till the end and commenting. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more unboxings of different Sailor Moon products that you can currently get on the market. And and if you want to get tutorials and how-tos on how you can purchase these as well. Thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Sailor Snubs. Definitely check me out over on Instagram if you haven't already. Johnny.